Now, 7 Eyewitness Sports with Zach Jones. How do you know you're meant to do something? Is there a sign or is there something to tell you? Not really, because our next athlete loved her sport so much, she didn't care who she played with or where. Because from the moment she picked up the ball, she knew it was for her. I'm here with Trinity Brooks. And what college are you going to? I'm attending Carson Newman University. And you'll be playing what sport? Softball. So let's jump into this softball. Where did it all start for you? When you were younger, just in high school, when did it start for you? It started when my brother was three. He would he played baseball, and so I've always been on the field in the dirt, playing around. And I've actually I actually started with baseball. Okay. Okay. And I played till I was about eight. And then I realized it wasn't for girls. Right, right. So I went to softball and I've been with it ever since. All right. And why did you choose the college that you chose? What was it about them? I chose Carson Newman because it was a Christian environment and that's a big factor in my life. Mm -hmm. And everyone was just sweet there. They were nice. And I, I felt like home when I stepped on the campus. Uh, Jackson Christian is an amazing school y'all have here. So I got to ask you two questions. What's your biggest memory from playing softball here and just your biggest memory in general, just going to Jackson Christian? I would say my biggest memory would be our very first sub-state game mm -hmm. because we didn't expect it. And we started off really slow, down by six in the very first game. And we did not expect to win and make it that far. And then we won and it was great. We had a big crowd in the audience and it was just a, amazing environment. All right, and I also ask everybody this question, because you're a student athlete, you're going to the next level, you're still gonna be a student athlete. What does that mean to you being a student athlete? My mom always told me I have to put emphasis on the student part. You go, mama's right. I have to focus on my <laughs> grades, but just being able to do both of them, it's, it can be hard sometimes, but it's, it's something that I've really worked hard to try to balance out, but I love being a student athlete. You go, and four years ago, so to say, from ninth grade to this point now, did you ever think you'd be here right now, going to Carson Newman, doing everything that you've done? Um, of course, young age, I thought I would be big league, you know, mm -hmm. D1, maybe like in the SEC tournaments at some point. Uh, I like but to hear it. Okay. As I've gotten older, I've realized that some paths are better to take, and I would say I wouldn't imagine myself at Carson Newman, but now I see, I can see myself there. Is there any goals in particular you want to accomplish there, even from the classroom standpoint? To on the diamond as well? Uh, I just want to get my name out there. Mm. My name and my family's name out there because I know it hasn't been it hasn't been done yet and I just want to do it. We always talk about the impact the school had on you all. What impact do you feel like you're leaving on Jackson Christian? I can say I've seen a lot of little girls come to me and say they're playing the sport they're playing because of me and it's something sweet. And I didn't think I made an impact on their lives, but I can see that I have. And I just want girls to go out and play and have fun and don't have so much pressure on themselves. Just don't be afraid and just have fun and just do your best for yourself and your teammates if you decide to play. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, thank you. I learned from being around Trini is that she has this amazing energy that she has and any room she walks into, she makes it light up. For the full interview, head online to WBBJTV.com.